Yeah. This is a Gimme Five show with Jay Walker and Tiffany. Yeah. You gon' have to give me five fingers on it right now. Wait until they see the strength and hear the wind. This black college live, I'ma need five on it. If they put overtime on it, lights out. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Black Collars Live, brought to you by Pepsi. You know what we got going on here. And if you know anything about the world of HBCU football, oh, yeah, when you hear that song, you know we're in the home of Bethune Cookman University, home of the Wildcats, as they prepare to take on Morgan State University. We got a lot going on on this show. It's going to be happening. One of the loudest bands out there. You're going to hear from the band. You're going to hear from the Greek life. You're going to hear from Morgan State head coach. Coach Tyrone Wheatley, of course I'm going to give you give me five, and like always, we will have our prediction at the end of the game. But right now, let's get to some of the bigger news and notes within the college football landscape. We talk about college football, what's going on. The biggest news so far this year has been obviously Howard University quarterback Kalen Newton deciding that he was going to enter into the transfer portal. What brought this about? A lot of speculation out there, but I will confirm this. Kalen Newton loved be at Howard University student, and it's not a done deal. Kalen could very well stay in Howard University, but he joins the likes of Chauncey Caldwell, who also left his program in North Carolina Central. And speaking as a Howard alum, Kalen's done nothing but great things for Howard University. We wish him nothing but success, and oh yeah, we do hope we keep him. But let's talk about the big games we got going on this weekend. We're going to talk about the game we got going on later on. But there's a number of key matchups that we got to talk about taking place throughout the HBCU landscape. Texas Southern versus Alabama A&M. Alabama A&M, who are they? Are they that team that can score 52 points and win? Or are they that team that plays down and got upset by Arkansas Pine Bluff? Grambling versus Jackson State University. I think Grambling and Jackson State have been the two most disappointing teams so far this HBCU football season. That being the case, somebody's got to win. Grambling pretty much an uphill battle for the rest of the year, while Jackson State can still control their own destiny, but they need to get it going down there in Jackson, Mississippi. Upset alert. I think North Carolina a and is being placed on upset alert as they take on a very talented Norfolk State football team. Latrell Scott, we know they can score some points, but do they have enough defense to keep off the Aggies? In Delaware State versus South Carolina State, I think South Carolina State just wants to see if they can put more points on Delaware State than North Carolina a and did. But we'll see how that plays out. But the big game that we're going to be taking a look at besides this one here, Alcorn State versus Alabama State. Alabama State. Who are they? Are they that team that almost beat the University of Alabama, Birmingham? But they've got two fantastic victories to start the season, and they beat longtime rival Tuskegee University and followed that up with an impressive victory over Grambling State University. They've got plenty of talent on the roster. They just have to put it all together and see who's going to show up. Because anytime you're talking about knocking off Alcorn State University, you better bring your A game. And Alcorn State has gotten a little bit better with two quarterbacks. Not one, but two. Everybody thought that the Braves would falter after they lost Noah Johnson, but steps up Felix Harper. And Felix Harper and the Braves have not missed a beat. They're trending high as one of the best teams in the HBCU landscape. We got a lot of things going on. Don't go nowhere. We'll hit you up later as we get you more from Daytona Beach Stadium. Give me five. Black College Live. We'll be back in a minute where we'll be joined by Morgan State head coach Tyrone Wheatley. Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. Turn 
It's MEAC football season, and things are about to get wild. Could the Aggies bury the Bison? Or will the Bears make a run at the ratings board? Will the Rattlers strike before the Bulldogs bite? Will the Eagles sink their talents into the title or feel the Hornets sting? Could the Wildcats wrap their jaws around victory or will the Spartans win out in the hunt? It's the road to the 2019 Celebration Bowl. May the wildest team win. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Daytona Beach, home of the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. And joining me now on the set is their director of athletics here at, at Bethune Cookman University, Lynn Thompson. So, Lynn, here's what we got to do. All right, you know, I got a little people saying that I do all the time, right? Yeah, I know about it. You know, we call it's called Jay's Give Me Five. So remember okay. that. Jay's Give Me Five. So, let's go right into Jay's Give Me Five, and I'm going to let you judge it, all right? Okay. How about, okay, fans, how about the five greatest players? in the history of a new cooking football. The five greatest. Whoa, that's a that's a big deal. Number five, probably the most controversial, I'm going with Nick Collins. Fantastic career here right. for the Wildcats. Went on and made you all proud in the NFL. Ten-year NFL veteran, a member of the Green Bay Packers, Hall of Fame. He's also my classic. Okay. okay. Alvin White. A little shine. Shine White. Before he was a football coach, he was a heck of a football player down here as well. He did so much for the university. I've got Alvin White coming in at number four. Number three, I'm a quarterback. Quarterbacks win football games for you. The winningest quarterback in the history of the Cookman University is Alan Super. That's it. He had run that wide bone. He did some great things there, so I got to go with Alan Super there. Number two, NFL Hall of Famer you guys got, Larry Little. Also remember that Dolphins and the beating team. People don't realize he played this collegiate football here at the Cookman University. Number one, Rasheed Mack. Nobody did it better. He left here as NCAA FCS leader in career interception, went on to a fantastic career in the National Football League, played right down the street for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I had some guys on the bubble. I went with Stevie Bags. I like Stevie Bags and Bernard Hall, the other quarter. Those two, those two are on the bubble, and I got a, a generation of offense that would argue that Jack Simon McLaren okay. should be on that list as well. That's why we do it. That's why it's called yeah. Jay so, That's so, why, that's that time. I mean, there, there's a ton of, of Wildcats out there that uh, that would certainly uh, uh, make that list, but but I can't argue those those five there. You know, the order. Uh, Larry Little is, is by far the greatest student athlete ever come out of the top of the So we got a lot there. But Machine Mathis, I mean, those five, I, I have no argument about. I got you, man. Well, thank you so much for all the hospitality you've been showing us here. It's James Give Me Five on Black College Live, coming to you yeah. from Daytona Beach. Woo! Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. History is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Well, we just want to put on a great show for our fans. Our fans deserve that. I think we have the greatest fans in the MEAC, greatest fans in the state of Florida. They're always behind us. They're always following. So my message to the guys was we just have to come out and give our fans a great show today. Impressive victory last week on the road, knocking off Howard University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Howard University. Howard University, <laughs> but that was a good win for you all. But you guys are starting to play at your best potential. We're starting to see Akibis Williams, your quarterback, really starting to emerge. He is. You know, coming back from injury, I think he did the right things 
early on in his in, in his injury, he, he worked on his mental game, he worked on his mechanics, the things that he could work on, and now he's stepping right back in the saddle. Football team. Give me a guy stepped up this season that you didn't know what to expect when the season started, but it's kind of emerged as one of those go-to guys for you. I, I think if anyone looks at Isaac Washington, he, he's a guy that we always knew had a lot of potential. Isaac did a lot of good things for us last year, but now, you know, coming on this year, he has done a great job with our run game, with running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield, and even blocking. So give, give us the game plan. You're getting ready to play Morgan State here. Uh, give us your game plan against Morgan State. We want to score more points than they do. That's too simple an answer. How are you going to score more points? <laughs> I want to hear that. How are you going to score more points? Hey, listen, we're, we're going to take what, what they give us. And, and Akivas has done a great job the last couple of weeks of doing just that. He's going to take what the defense gives us. And our defense has to come out. And number one, you want to stop their run game, make them one-dimensional. Then we can allow our guys to do what they do best, which is rush the quarterback. I want to say what? We're having a good time down here. I'm not going to hold you too much. Dr. Craig, come on. Dr. Craig, you're not going to be the president of Bethune-Cookman University is joining us here on the set. <laughs> Anytime presidents show up, presidents show up on Black College Live, we're going to get you some FaceTime. You got a couple words you want to say? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Excited to be here. Excited about BCU football. Excited about the university. In many ways, this represents the best of what we do, the strength, the perseverance, the heart, the tenacity of these kids, the excellence of the coaching staff. Uh, this is what we do. So I'm excited about today. Uh, also a great year. We expect to keep it going now. Good. Thanks for all the hospitality. Thank you. Coach, I thought he was going to give us one of those long presidential speeches. I was going to say, he got to go coach a game. I'm oh, no. He, he's not that guy. He's not that guy. He, he's a great president. He's an open guy. He, he's accessible. You, you can't have a president, I, I think, that is so accessible and, and, and allow you to do the things that you do and do it the way you want to do it. So I just thank God to have an athletic director and a president like those two guys. Gotcha. We got a whole lot going on, and we got more coming up as we can bring you more of Black College Live. You've heard me talk about them all year. Now you're going to hear from them. They could, could, they're definitely one of the loudest. They could be the baddest band in all of HBCU. We're right here from the Barchie Wildcat when we come back to Black College Live here from Daytona Beach. Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. December 21st, the best in HBCU football will collide in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC versus SWAC. Champion versus champion. Only one team will rise above the rest and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. Come join the celebration at Mercedes Benz Stadium this December. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. Welcome back to Black College Live, presented to you by Pepsi. As promised, here are the marching Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman University, joined by a little bit of 14K. Stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages.
This December 21st, the best in HBCU football will collide in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC versus SWAC. Champion versus champion. Only one team will rise above the rest and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. Come join the celebration at Mercedes-Benz Stadium this December. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. Yeah, this is a Gimme Five show with Jay Walker and Tiffany. Yeah. You gon' have to give me five fingers on it right now. Yeah, we told you, we love fraternities and sororities here on our show. You're welcome anytime. And joining me now on the set, some lovely, wonderful ladies from Sigma Gamma Rho. Established in 1922 on the campus of where? Butler University. What y'all got for me? <laughs> all right. Good job, ladies. Welcome. Always love it all. That being said, can we talk some football? And there's going to be a football game played on the inside between Bethune-Cookman University and Morgan State University. The key is, who's going to win this game? Well, let me tell you how Morgan State has to deal with. They got to deal with Akivis Williams, who we talked about. Bethune-Cookman, they're the bullies on the block. They push you around. They like to make things happen. When you talk about Morgan State, they played the toughest non-conference schedule of any HBCU. They played Bowling Green, James Madison, and Army, and they had a competitive game last week versus North Carolina Central. So the key is going to be offense. How good is Morgan State, and can they match the tenacity that we know Terry Sims and Bethune Cookman bring to the table? They have 14 sacks on the season already. They love creating havoc. They're one of the top teams in turnover margin in the country. So that being said, I'm not going to tell you who wins the game. We leave that to our resident coach chef. Coach, where's my food? No, where's my food? Where's my food? Bring in the best. I gotta have food. Okay. So now that I've got the food, coach, I gave you the stats about Morgan State. We all know their own four and Bethune Cookman. Who is going to win this football game? BCC. Oh, he's BCC. going with the Wildcats. Yes, sir. Can I get a little dunk, 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 Wildcats? Dunk, 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 dunk. Let's go. Dunk, 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 dunk. Wildcats. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, Wildcats. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right, all right. Hey, we've had fun here. We'll check you out next week right here by Black College Live. <laughs> This is a Gimme Five show with Jay Walker and Tiffany. Yeah. You gon' have to give me five fingers on it right now. Wait until they see the strength and hear the win. It's Black College Live, I'ma need five on it. If they put overtime on it, lights out.